In this video, we'll explore importing sprites, adding hitboxes, and animating objects on your stage. If you've used our character editor, you might already be familiar with our animation system. To start, expand the sprites option under animation content to import sprites you've created in other programs. Once your sprite sheet is imported, click it to open the Add Sprites pane. Selecting a sprite from your sprite sheet will create a new sprite object in your scene, which can now be moved around like any other 3D object. With your sprite object selected, click the first frame in the sprites timeline. You'll see the drawing mode panel on the bottom right, where you can change your tool and brush color if you want to draw onto the image. To animate your object, add more frames to your timeline with different images. Then, press play to watch your animation. To add a hitbox, expand the hitbox pane and click New. This creates a new object with a hitbox. If your object is already selected, the hitbox will be added to it, which can be useful or kept separate depending on your needs. When you test play your scene, players will be hit by the hitbox, but only once. To allow the hitbox to hit players again, add an action to your timeline, right-click a frame in the action timeline, select New Empty Keyframe, then New Action, and choose Clear Player Hit Flag. It would be best to sync this with an animation. Any object in your scene can be animated by checking the animated box. Just like with sprites and hitboxes, animated objects have a timeline where you can add sprites, sounds, effects, and hitboxes. To animate the movement of your object, select a frame in the animation timeline and move the object to create a new keyframe. You can even parent one animated object to another for more complex movement. 